All right, so we're gonna be taking a look at how we could set up Git in a couple different scenarios with WordPress. So let's say that we have a new project. Let's just make a folder here, WP test vanilla, and let's CD into vanilla, and let's do WP core download. And you could easily use the CLI or go to wordpress.org and download the zip file, and you'll be right where I am. So let's take a look at what's in here. Just the main contents of a WordPress site, just the core files, WP content, WP admin, WP includes, and, and the rest. And if we were to do git init in here and open this in Visual Studio Code, um, we're gonna see a lot of files that we do not care about. Let's uh, just close out Visual Studio Code and open it back up. Sometimes it uh, gets stuck, but what we're kind of seeing here is that we have almost 2,000 files uh, worth of WordPress files that we just do not need to keep track of. And so I kind of like to go with the most minimalistic uh, approach that I can when I'm working with you know, a vanilla installation like this. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have a new uh, gitignore file. And we're going to exclude everything. Um, and then we're going to slowly add back things in that make sense for us. Uh, first and foremost, I'm going to create a new theme that where this is going to be kind of what our project is for this. Um, so let's just have an index.php. And ultimately what we just want to have is just this my theme folder be the only thing that we're keeping track of. And I'll kind of explain why. Um, as we move forward. So uh, what we don't want is we want to not ignore the WP contents directory. Now that is going to actually kind of bloat things up even more than, I mean, we've, we've taken out like almost 2000 <laughs> of the files just with these two lines, but I don't like holding on to plugins and I don't like holding on to uploads. If we had any uploads on this site, it would be right here. Um, those are just things that are either not worth keeping track of in Git or are mostly third party and are just better getting from other sources like plugins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that we want to, um, get rid of everything that's inside of the WP content folder, but we don't want to get rid of the, um, themes folder. So now we're getting rid of plugins, the index.php and, and um, the uh, uploads folder. Uh, but we also have all of these 2020 uh, themes and an index.php here as well. So I would say that we would want to get rid of everything that's not our theme. So we do want to get rid of WP content slash theme slash everything but we don't want WP content slash theme slash uh, my theme to be ignored. So that should just leave us with this one file, our index.php. And I think this is a great way to set it up because you can um, just make sure that you have your themes folder with your theme in it. And that's everything that you're keeping track of. Now, let's say you did have a a plugin in here that's particular to this theme, but it made more sense to be in a plugin rather than inside of the theme. So let's have an index.php um, in here as well. And then so you could just as easily do things like, oh, let's just not do the WP content slash plugins. And then we want to do everything slash plugins but we don't want to in uh, ignore slash plugins ash my dash plugin. So hopefully, so now we're only are keeping track of our two index.phps uh, that are in our themes and in our plugin folder. Um, so you can kind of expand that out into other areas that make sense. But I think ultimately this is the kind of way that I would go about it is only keeping track of the absolutely necessary. Um, I guess we would want to keep track of the git ignore. <laughs> um, so three files in, in, a, in something like this. So you take it down from near nearly 2000 down to three. 
Um, you know, that's not going to work for everybody, but that's what works for me. And it's uh, very portable. Just you have, you don't want to over bloat your repository. Uh, the better way, in my opinion, to do this is not use a vanilla installation of WordPress. And I'm going to get on my soapbox here for a second. And I'm going to say that the best way to do this um, is with a bedrock installation. So uh, let's make a new directory here called WP test bedrock. And if you don't have Composer, I'll, I'll link a, um, a I'll link something in the description that has instructions on how to install Composer on your machine. But we're going to do a Composer create project. Oops, let's actually CD into the right area. WP test bedrock. And so Composer create project root slash bedrock. And we want to install that here. Um, and this just puts everything into a spot where it's completely Git friendly. Um, it makes it so that your plugins are managed through Composer. Um, it makes it so that WordPress is in a separate folder than the root and is ignored uh, and only has the things in there that are needed to make your site run. So let's clear this out and open this up in code. Um, so if you haven't heard of Bedrock before, it's just an alternate way of having WordPress installed. It requires two things um, to kind of really work. It needs a server running where you can change the root directory to slash web, and it also needs Composer um, installed. So when you run Composer install, you will have um, all of your plugins, and then it will also bring in WordPress, as we can see right here on line 39. Um, it comes with a git ignore file and it is excluding all of the plugins and uh, uh, must use plugins and things like that. The NVs um, vendor, which comes with composer when we have things installed there um, and it is install uh, and it is uh, removing WordPress. So uh, let's just run get init here so we can kind of get a good idea of what this actually is going to uh, come up with. Now, it's 21 files versus like the three that we had, but this ultimately is going to give you so much more of a, um, a clean uh, repository because you're only keeping track of the things that need to um, get the get the site running. And the nice thing about this is that you know you can have somebody clone this repository down. They run composer install inside of their server or their local uh, setup, and all of a sudden they do have all of the plugins that you are using. Whereas that other previous method, method they would have to have get uh, gotten those plugins from somewhere else. Now it doesn't answer how to get uploads going back and forth. I honestly just think that just kind of sending some zip files around is probably the best place to have it, or have them off in AWS or something and just, you know, we'll link it up there. But I think that having a bedrock installation is, and if you if you can have one, um, given your environments, then this is definitely the better way to go, uh, to have a get set up for WordPress than the other um, vanilla installation like we just had. Um, if we just open back up vanilla, it's kind of just like weird. I mean, getting WordPress set up here, like you're going to have to kind of toss around this folder. It has the things that you need in it, but it's kind of a weird way to it, it, like the setup process isn't as, as, as nice as something like roots. So, um, I highly encourage you guys to, uh, mess around with this, um, make sure that you're ultimately what I'm just trying to get across here is don't, don't include everything in your in your GitHub repositories. Don't um, put plugins in there if you don't have to, and your uploads, like all that should come from somewhere else. So that's why I made this video, is just to kind of rant, I guess, for a second about just having a very clean WordPress repository. There should be no reason why it needs to be, you know, thousands of files of third-party plugins and, and, and WordPress course. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you want more advanced stuff, um, I have a Patreon where I do exclusive videos. We talk about how to use Git to actually deploy WordPress 
Um, and then I have just released another video about doing headless WordPress and Gatsby in there. So, um, and that's using the, the latest source plugin from Gatsby. It's a really cool video and we had a lot of fun making it. I'd like to shout out my patrons for supporting me and making it so I can do those exclusive videos. Um, also, if you're new here, subscribe to my channel, ring the bell. Um, I do WordPress videos um, on a mostly weekly basis. Um, and I have a lot of fun doing it. If you guys have a way to uh, kind of set up Git that's a little bit better than this, 100% down to, to hearing about that, leave a comment down below, and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.